Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1543. Hey, in our last Excel Magic Trick 1542, we did look up first number greater than hurdle and less than a hurdle. And I use lookup, index, and match. But below in the comments, Brian XYZ said, hey, how about max ifs and min ifs? And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same exact trick, but with max ifs and min ifs. Now, these two functions are only in Excel 2019 or Office 365. And by the way, if you want to have a little fun, go check out the comments below this video. There are all sorts of awesome formula alternative solutions from lots of our teammates. Now, the original question came from Sagoon, and he said he had these numbers, and he needed to look up or have this hurdle of 11 and get the numbers that are exactly below and exactly above. Now, I randomized these so they're not in order because the max ifs and min if solutions will work. In fact, I think just for visual evidence, I'll sort it because the 11 right now, if we're looking it up, we need to get a spot right there and then pull the one above and the one below. Now I'm going to Control Z. Well, if we want to look up the first number that is less than the hurdle, that would be our 7. We use the max ifs function, max range. That means we're trying to look up through this range and get the biggest value that matches our condition, comma. The criteria range, in this case, it's the same exact range comma, and then our criteria, in double quotes, we have to say less than, in double quote, and join it to our hurdle. Man, that is so much easier than the formula we did last time. And get this, it works on sorted or not sorted. Close parentheses and Enter. There it is, 7. And our numbers are not even sorted. Now, first look up value that is bigger than our hurdle equals min ifs min range, comma, the criteria range, comma, and the criteria. Well, we have to be looking for bigger than in double quotes and join it to our hurdle. Close parentheses and Enter. Works if it's sorted. If I put exactly a value that's in our data set like 13, it still better get the one above and the one below. And it does. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Sagoon and Brian XYZ. And of course, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.